Yo, yo, what is up guys, Oscar here with a new video, and this is going to be discussing training camp day 6, our second day, actually no, our first day, first day um, in pads, so let's go ahead and let's discuss uh, training camp day 6, um, so before, um, you know, I discuss, you know, individual performances and, you know, who's, you know, who's doing what, let's do um, what I always do, uh, discuss some um, injury new news and notes here. Um, so we got Cornelius Lucas, Cornelius Lucas back, um, from the COVID-19 list. We also got Matt Ioannidis back from the COVID-19 list. Um, so they, they should be good, good to go. Our defensive line, you know, is getting back to, uh, uh, back up to speed. Um, hopefully Deron Payne can make it back. Hopefully John Allen can get healthy again because he is still dealing with that hamstring injury. He was actually off the side, uh, Throughout today, you know, just working with the trainers, making sure everything is good to go. Um, so it's good to see that the COVID-19 guys are, you know, coming back. So let's see. Uh, Curtis Samuel, though, still still out, still on the, the COVID-19 list. He has not come back. And then, of course, Deron Payne, he has to quarantine for, I think it's about a week or 10 days or something like that. He says that he, has, he hasn't contracted the virus, but who knows? We, we have to wait and see about that. But we'll have to wait and see. Let's 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 see what happens. Um, so let's break into some uh, individual individual performances. Um, per uh, Zach Selby, um, you know each quarterback is working on their favorite. You know, is trying to find their their t their top targets. Um, you know, or tight end targets. Uh, so you know we saw Ryan Fitzpatrick and Logan Thomas continuing to build their chemistry. Um, we also saw Ryan Fitzpatrick throw to Tamaric Hemingway, and Tamaric Hemingway is clawing his way through the through the through the ranks. You know we can't sleep on him. You know no, and now I'm realizing more and more Tamaric Hemingway cannot be slept on. Um, was on this roster last year. Um, didn't make any significant catches or anything, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, some other news, about, some other notes, rather, um, about, you know, what Zach Selby posted was that, you know, Troy Apke, he's, uh, becoming yet again another, um, camp body who's, you know, becoming a, a top guy. He right now, last year, it was at free safety, this year is at corner. Now, can he flourish under that? We're gonna have to wait and see just because... Last year he was a great corn, uh, a great free safety in training camp, but when it translated to games, he was just really bad. You know he kept on getting burnt. You know couldn't make a tackle, couldn't do anything. So um, hopefully, you know at corner right now he's looking at training camp. You know and he's had a few batted passes here um, per Zach Selby. So let's see if he can translate that to preseason game one. Preseason game one. Um, is next week it is next Thursday so expect a video um, either late Thursday night or maybe Friday morning discussing um, preseason game one but we'll have to wait and see about that um I'll let you guys know when 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 that happens we'll just hold up on that don't want to get my you know don't want to get ahead of myself here um some other notes um in, so today was the first, like I said, padded practice. Um, Samuel Cosme is getting more comfortable. In fact, he actually played really well um, in with pads. Funny enough, you know, he stopped Chase Young and Montez Sweat on, on certain plays. So that's really good to see that he's continuing to grow. Um, Antonio Gibson and Lamar Miller had a few big carries today. In fact, um, Lamar, I think it was Lamar Miller or, or was it Antonio Gibson? No, I think it was Jared Patterson. Um, the running backs are making an impact and they are actually making the defensive line frustrated because um, I think I, I want to say Jared Patterson. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I want to say it was Jared Patterson where he ran up the field and went through a hole, you know, and got into the end zone for a touchdown and Chase Young... You know, so we got to plug up those holes. I'm not going to say, you know, what he said because, you know, he, you know, I don't I don't curse in my channel at all. I'm trying to, you know, be at least PG 
to PG-13 at, at, at best or at worst. Um, but, you know, um, Chase Young was shouting, got to plug up those holes. So, um, you know, Jared Patterson, the running backs, you know, they're they're making the name for themselves. Lamar Miller, Antonio Gibson, Jared Patterson, um, Peyton Barber um, carried. Oh, there goes my um, my phone. Go, my phone's going off. Please ignore that. Um, Peyton Barber took, uh, I want to say, Kalik Hudson. It was one of those big guys um, on a ride or something like that. So, you know, these running backs are going to be testy. Um, we should be, a, me personally, I think that Washington should be a run-first team. You know, we, we do have Ryan Fitzpatrick. We do have Tether Heineke. But our identity is running that football, pounding it, and that defense, that front seven, slamming the opponent's quarterbacks down. So, um, you know, that's that's what I think we should do. You know, only gunsling it when needed. We do have a gunslinger. You know, Taylor Heineke and Ryan Fitzpatrick are both gunslingers when they need to be, but only use those deep threats when needed, like Logan Thomas, Terry McLaurin, etc., so, uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Um, Deami Brown had uh, some spectacular catches as well. Um, from Taylor Heineke, uh, I think he caught a touchdown. Let's talk about some uh, two-minute drills. Each of the quarterbacks, excluding Kyle Allen, of course, because he's still working on that ankle. He got you know he tweaked that ankle. I want to say last week, so he's still you know trying to work some kinks out. But all the quarterbacks that were active today actually got some time in the two-minute drill. Um, uh, Cameron Curl intercepted Ryan Fitzpatrick once. Um, and then also, uh, Logan Thomas got a red zone touchdown. Antonio Gibson had a rushing touchdown in the two minute drill as well. Some notes though, that, you know, some, some, something, you know, some feedback for Antonio Gibson. I can't remember if it was the running backs coach or if it was Ron Rivera or no, 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 Scott, it was Scott Turner, um, saying that because, uh, Antonio Gibson had two straight runs, didn't make it into the end zone, um, and time was running out, but then, you know, they were saying, yo, man, you got to find a way to get out of bounds. You know, he had some some catches, but didn't go out of bounds, and they said, you, you know, if you're trying to make catches, that's fine, but in a two-minute drill, you got to find a way to get out of bounds, so that's something for Antonio Gibson to, to work on there. Um, let me see what other notes. Um... Let me see. Oh, um, Wes Schweitzer, not Wes Schweitzer, uh, Wes Martin and um, Sadiq Charles. Also, from what I heard from, uh, I want to say, Zach Selby, um, got, you know, showed the best of the offensive line today. You know, Simon Cosby is still growing. You know, Cornelius Lucas is, you know, crawling, you know, getting back into the swing of things. But uh, Sadiq Charles and Wes Martin or Wes Schweitzer. That's the that's the problem of having both uh, two guys with the same name West West Schweitzer and West Martin. I can't remember which one of the two, but e- either way, um, one of the Wests, along with Sadiq Charles, um, you know had a you know had a good day in training camp as well. Um, Kendall Fuller had an interception in the I want to say red zone. Could be wrong. Um, but, you know, I also know that Kendall Fuller is, is finally, you know, getting into rhythm. So, let's see what happens. Well, let's see what happens with that cornerback battle. Um, what other notes do I have? Um, Tim Tim Settle was a start, you know, got the start in the 11 versus 11. Not not surprising there. Like I said, John Allen and Duran, with those guys being out, you know, it's not surprising that Tim Settle gets, you know, a chance um, John Bostic, um, you know, made made a few big plays today, and John Bostic has had a quiet training camp, and he's a guy that I have him being cut this year. Um, the only thing that could save him was is the veteran presence in the locker room, but you know, I would not be surprised if John Bostic gets cut. But he finally had an impact today, had a few either solid tackles and um, stacks. Um, you know, Chase Young, Mata Sweat had, you know, a few sacks. In fact, um, Kendall Fuller, I think, had a, had a sack, 
when Kendall Fuller on a corner blitz, you know, locked in on Ryan Fitzpatrick, hit him, and and Montez Sweat said, yo, my, yo, man, I was waiting for the tip, and I was waiting for the interception, but then, you know, because I Kendall Fuller got the got the sack, and he was like, yo, man, I was waiting for that interception, but um, it is what it is, you know, friendly, just friendly, friendly disputes there, so... Um, alrighty, that'll do it for some notes for training camp day six, first day of padded practice. Let me know what you guys think of, um, what happened today. Let me know in the comments down below. It's your turn to let me, to, to write down there in the comments. Um, maybe I missed certain things that Ryan, uh, Rhiannon Walker and or Zach Selby posted on the Washington football team. A website or what uh, Rhiannon Walker tweeted. So it is y'all's turn. Let me know in the comments. Until then, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.